Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. Oh, good golly goodness, it's Thursday. That means tomorrow's Friday, baby. Time for that TGIF, I love the weekend. The weekend is the best time for you to just relax, chill with your best friend, your pepperoni pizza, teach him some brand new tricks, or maybe, you know, go out to the park or go meet some brand new friends. I specifically like to take the weekend to teach my best friends how to do some cool stuff. Could you do me a favor, buddy? Could you do me a favor? Can you speak? That's a good boy. <laughs> Don't swallow it whole, bro. On today's episode of 60 Formula, we're gonna be talking about all the different toys that both of my Huskies have. We're gonna be going through their entire toy box, seeing what kind of toys Siberian Huskies like the most. So admittedly, my Siberian Huskies are mega spoiled. They have about 30,422 million toys. If you have a dog at home or a Siberian Husky at home and you spoil them, tell us how many toys your Husky has down below in the comments. Girl, look at that booty. Look at that butt. You're like the Husky Pizza Hut. Super cheap, but oh so tasty. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. You're not, yeah, you're not Pizza Hut. You're not Pizza Hut. No, Hey, Broski Melosi, can you come here? Can I get a paw? That's what's up, dude. That's what's up. Can I get the other paw? Same paw, other paw. Yeah, yeah so, so, dude, you are the coolest. You are the best. You are better than the rest, and you have a hairy chest. Before we go into today's episode and go searching through all of the amazing toys that these Siberian Huskies have, we're gonna hear a word from this episode's sponsor. He's like, oh, we gotta listen to a sponsor before we go through the toy box, daddy-o. Ooh, a box. Cool. Oh, what's in this box? What's in the box? You guys want to see? Oh, 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 oh. What is it, dude? You come over here and look. Yeah, check it out, Broski Maloski. What is it? Today's episode is sponsored by Pet ACC, and they are bringing us an amazing, super dope retractable pet leash. Now, the awesome thing about Pet ACC is that, well, the leash comes straight to your door, so you don't have to go out and shop or do any of that annoying stuff, like run to the pet store in case you need something really quickly. Now, this particular product, which is a retractable pet leash, they're incredibly durable and made of amazing material. You can see everything about this leash. Super duper hard, and the handles are very, very comfortable. Even Gila's like, dude, I'm interested in this. Uh, you can go ahead and continue. Pet ACC dog leads are special because they come with a feature that not a lot of retractable leads have. Not only is it made of strong material so that your husky doesn't bolt and snap the entire thing, but it's reinforced with certain pieces to make sure that if it does break, if there ever is a problem, you can fix it right away. If at any time your husky chews on this lead, sometimes Sometimes huskies like to bite at the lead, especially when they're puppies and you're walking them around. You can cut this lead and then snap it back up here at the top like it's a brand new strap. And look right here, there's like this little cap that keeps the entire thing protected. This is a really cool feature that comes with this dog lead. So if you got a Siberian Husky puppy or you got yourself a Husky at home and you're thinking of getting yourself a brand new lead, we definitely suggest you check out Pet ACC. You can save some money with our link below down in the description. Definitely go and check them out. All of their links are down below. We want to thank Pet ACC for sending us this really awesome retractable lead. We're going to be using it with our walks on the daily, baby. You better believe it. All right, so here we are, good golly goodness, in the room that has all the toys that the Siberian Huskies love to play with. You can see right over here behind Gila, we got like two gigantic spots that house all of the toys. One right here is their toy basket, which I need to get a bigger one. And then over there in the corner is just, you know, that's where all the extra stuff goes that we don't have room to tower up in this basket right here. All right, come on over here. Yep, let's go through all the toys. I just wanna say there's gonna be a wide variety of toys we're gonna be discovering today on our mission of going through all of the toys in my Husky's toy baskets. And I'm gonna be describing exactly the benefits and the disadvantages of every single toy. So in case you don't have any of these toys and you got yourself a Siberian Husky at home and you're thinking, hey, I wanna watch this video, kinda get an idea for the types of toys that Huskies love, which ones are their favorites. I'm gonna let you guys know all of that inside knowledge. So guess what, you clicked on the right video, dog. First things first, we got this crazy blue ball right here and I'm pretty sure that this toy Boy came from inside another toy. Now there's plenty of toys that we have in this pile of toys where when you destroy that toy, you get a new toy. We'll be talking about those in a minute, but I will say that when it comes to Siberian Huskies, balls are a very, very big favorite. Over here, we got this really heavy one and you can tell when I drop it, 
It makes a really loud noise. And then this one's really light, so when I drop it, it doesn't make that loud of a noise. I definitely recommend getting all sorts of different types of balls. Now this ball right here, it's got like all these little like spikes on it, but the spikes are really soft. It's a really, really soft ball and the Huskies love to chew on it. It's weird because you'd think that because this is a ball and it's filled with air that Huskies teeth would pop it, but they chew it really hard all the time and this type of ball never pops. It's really fun to throw this ball around the house too. Because it's really light, it's not likely that it'll break something. And because it's light, if you throw it and it hits your Husky's head, it's not gonna hurt. Now this ball is really hard and it's meant for chewing. It's not really meant to throw across your house. You may break something, you may destroy something in your home if you throw this too hard. So it's really important to remember that Getting a rough, hard, heavy ball is good for chewing, but not really good for throwing around and playing with. We've got one of these donut looking things, and this is really kind of similar to a ball, especially the blue one that I showed you previously, and we'll go ahead and bring that one out. These two things are very, very soft, very, very malleable, very fun and easy on a Husky's teeth. They definitely enjoy these types of toys, probably a little bit more than the harder types of toys. I would say more times than not, Britney Spears and Hila go for these types of uh, soft squeaky things rather than the harder stuff. But when they are bored and they do want to sit down and clean their teeth, like I said, a hard ball is the way to go, baby. Siberian Huskies love pig toys. I mean, there's no limit to like the amount of pigs that you can get for your Husky. They all come in pink too, right? And they all make this one noise. Kind of sounds like this. Gosh, Huskies love that noise. It's see, look at her. She's like, yeah, I'll be, I'll be taking this, please. Now, is this a regular squeaker? Uh, it doesn't even have a. Oh. Okay, so this is just a regular squeaking one. But most of the time, these pigs that the Huskies get. They make that low squeaking noise and low squeaking noises are a very attractive thing for Siberian Huskies. I don't know why, but <laughs> there's never a day that goes by that Gila or Britney Spears doesn't grab one of these pigs and go absolutely crazy. Look, oh, and what do you know? What's this over here? Yep, that's the, uh, that's the skin of an old piggy. An old piggy toy once retired. Now a large portion of the toys that are in these Huskies toy boxes are just basically skins of plushes that used to have a whole bunch of plush in them. For example, this right here, you can tell it's a turtle, but all of the plush is gone. But they still play with the outside of it because the feet make a little bit of noise. This is an inside out porcupine plush, I'm pretty sure. So a lot of the toys that the Huskies do have are plushes that have no more plush in them. However, some plush toys do last the test of time for some reason, and I'm not really sure why, some plush toys, they just don't ever get broken open. And then the last toy over here is like this giant Kong stick. And I'll be honest with you guys, they don't play with this all that much. You can put treats inside this thing, so it can become very enticing, but for the most part, the sticks are not as exciting and the Huskies much prefer the plush toys. <laughs> They're like, yeah, dude, show it, show us the plush. All right, it's time to move your booties. I gotta get into that toy box now. I gotta show them what's in that one, and that's like basically the bigger one. Look at those lazy butts. Can, can we move the lazy butts, please? <sighs> Good effort. All right, I'm pretty sure that Britney Spears is ready to delve into this whole entire toy box situation right here. So let's get into it, my friends. This right here is one of the oldest toys I think they have. It's a dragon, or at least it used to be a dragon, and it is just the skin. It's been around for a really long time. I'm surprised I haven't thrown it away yet. But yeah, like I said before, Huskies love keeping the skins of the old plush toys that they had. Now, if you guys want something really inexpensive, a toy that's going to last a long time and also keep your Huskies attention, I definitely suggest going after tennis balls. Now, they can be a little bit messy because they will eat up and chew on the fur on the outside of the tennis ball. But tennis balls are a great way to distract your Husky into doing something fun. They love that they roll around. Gila, she's a huge sucker for tennis balls. She can never really get enough of them. Now we only have one tennis ball and I like to keep it like a big size because some tennis balls come really small and you don't want your Siberian Husky or your dog to choke on anything little. So whenever I go to get a tennis ball, since they do have these little bits that can come off of them, I typically get the biggest tennis ball that I can find. What's this? What is that? 
Right here is another ring, except this one doesn't have any spikes or anything. It is a Kong ring, and the dogs do enjoy chewing on these every once in a while. <laughs> You could get your face caught in there, girl. It's always good to choose toys that Huskies like to chew on because it cleans their teeth. And toys like this don't present a choking hazard. There's not like little things that are gonna fall off whenever Gila's chewing on it, so these are a great choice. Check out some of the circled Kong toys, or I guess they're like a donut. Whatever you wanna call them, they're a great toy for Huskies. Now we do have one rope in the toy box. I don't really like to buy rope. They basically come apart in these tiny little pieces, and if your Husky isn't and eating them, well then it's gonna be a huge mess for you to clean up later. Now right here, next up, we got a few plush toys that have things inside of them. So like this toy right here, it has this donut, you guys see the donut toy inside of it? So it's a toy that the Huskies absolutely adore. In fact, these are the toys that the Huskies play with the most. If you can find yourself a plush toy that has other toys inside of it, like balls or things that squeak, so that when they do tear up the plush, they get another toy on the inside, that's basically the best toy you could ever get for a Siberian Husky. So what we got in here left over is kind of like rubber toys. These are kind of the toys that Siberian Huskies like to squeak, chew on, they kind of just hold it and they chew on it. These are those types of toys and we definitely recommend getting a few for your Husky. Now we got tons more like that one in here. This one was actually a toy that came in one of the plush toys. This is a great toy because you can put treats in here and then it rolls around and the treats make noise and the Huskies go, ooh, what was that noise? This right here is the famous cheese wheel. It, it did not look like this when I first got it. That is all, here, let me focus in on it. That is all of the teeth marks from the Huskies. When I bought this toy, it was completely smooth. There was no like uh, wrinkling to it. That, those are all the teeth marks. I wanna say one thing when it comes to donut toys because it can be concerning. The holes in the middle of donut toys, if they're too small, your Huskies lower jaw can get stuck in it. And I've heard stories of people having to go to a hospital and have their Husky's jaw basically removed from the center portion of this toy. Watch the center. If their mouth looks like it's gonna get stuck in there really easily, probably a good idea to take it away. Now, right here I have a Wubba, and Wubbas are great toys for Huskies. Now this is a little itty bitty baby Wubba. Usually Wubbas are bigger size, but both the Huskies love this tiny little Wubba right here just as well. Now the bigger Wubbas do not last that long. I will say I've had plenty of them, and the Huskies do tear the Wubbas up pretty fast. But lucky for you, Wubbas do have a ball in the very top of them. That's what this squeaky thing is, so when they do destroy that, they're gonna get a free ball out of it, which is always a plus. Now there are sports toys like Nerf, and I love the sports toys for dogs. This right here is kind of like this rainbow chain that they like to run around with, it's really fun. This right here is a giant basketball toy, and you know, it seems like they wouldn't wanna play with this because it's humongous and awkward and what the heck is this thing, but Gila absolutely loves playing with that basketball, I'm telling you. Look, she's like, dude, I could just b-ball all day like I'm LeBron James. Sometimes Huskies just like hanging around and chilling with a bigger toy. They like to take their paw and put it up there and be like, bro, I feel like the b-ball star of the century. So I definitely suggest getting them one or two bigger toys so that they can enjoy chewing and having some fun. Here are a few other toys, all the rest of them that are in the bottom of the toy bin. This right here is a Nerf football, which I really, really love. The Huskies love that. However, it is a little hard. And the rest of these toys are basically rubber toys that you can put treats inside of, like right here or in there or right in there. And the treats inside of these toys entice your dogs to pick them up, engage with them, yada, yada, yada. So here it is, the entire destruction, me unloading all of these toys onto the floor. Both of the Huskies are like, dude, I I'm pretty sure this is the best day ever. It's toy explosion. We hope you guys had fun today and got a chance to figure out which toys are the best toys for Siberian Huskies. We showed you a whole bunch of different ones, ranging all the way from plush to chewy 
to sport, to training, so that you guys can pick the right toy for your dog Aroni pizza. If you have some of these toys at your house or your Siberian Husky plays with some of these toys that we showed in this video, go ahead and let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to know. If you have a toy that you think Britney Spears and Gila would love to play with, also go ahead and mention it down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss any more Huskaroni pizza episodes. And we'll see you next time with another episode of guess what? You guessed it, whatever we make. Peace. Now this particular product, which is an Now this particular product, which is a retractable Now this particular product, which is a retractable Now this Now this particular product, which